Hi, I'm Jesse Mueller, and I'm here at Broadway.com to answer your questions. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. You can go thing, go through things in your life. You have to make choices. You have to, you have to pursue things. You can make mistakes. That's okay. But you have to learn how to move on, and you have to let things go. And part of that, I think, is um, forgiveness. Oh, Joe, I must go. I well, I must go see my grandma. Um, that, I mean, I like doing that. It's not like I, I have to. But um, and and my family usually goes to our um, our favorite Italian restaurant um, in Evanston. And and uh, little little shout out to Dave's Italian Kitchen. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. I'm glad you remember it. Um, oh my gosh, that we shot that whole thing in one day, and I. I was talking to Andy Carl about this the other day because he was the one that planned it all. He was he was like the director producer and he got it all planned and got everything approved because like our wardrobe and our hair crew were all there, the stage crew was there because we used the set and everything so we had to get permission. And I don't think anybody got paid over, everybody just did it out of the goodness of their hearts and we got it all done in one afternoon. So I think it was just, it was just that it was that day, it was the shoot day, and the camaraderie of everybody doing it together and actually getting it done um, was was really exciting. And that's, I still love that that group of people. It was one of the, the best times I've ever had on the show. Oh, Jordan, I do I know all the words? This isn't really a rap. Is it a rap song? I sometimes the other morning I was singing the fresh. Prince of Bel Air theme in my bathroom. I was getting ready. Let me know. I know almost all the words, but you're not going to see it. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's the title song. I think it's beautiful, but um, it's that one. That one like changes every night depending on where I am that day or how the you know how the show has has gone and and. Um, you know, the little moments that have happened, I think, I think that song takes on different meanings. And they're not different meanings, but it's like different parts really seem highlighted to me or truer to me. Um, things that occur in the lyric because um, it is actually a very sort of complex idea and it has a lot to do with the way you put yourself out there in the world it has a lot to do with what comes back at you. I would... <laughs> Me scantily clad. You're not. You're not gonna see it. Uh, I think one of the hardest, or the new, the new hardest thing about the role, and one of the challenging things with with um, having done it this long, is is the the emotional um, journey of it through the through the play and going through that every night. And, and learning how to come in and be ready for it and then try to let it go at the end of the night. And you know what I mean? Like leave her at the theater and go and, and do life. Um, which with the long run, it, that sort of stuff, it just, you realize you're like, you're spending more time being someone else than yourself and, and you, have to find a, you have to find a balance. I don't think it exists. I don't, I, we might have to write something. Oh, it shouldn't be that hard, right? Like two girls and two guys, but they can't be romantically involved. Like this gets tricky. You figure it out, and then and then let me know, and then we'll just talk to some people, some producers, and we'll, we'll see we'll see if we can get worked out. Maybe a nice regional production somewhere. You know, sky's the limit. I just saw Harry. Last week, two weeks ago, it was probably two weeks ago now, he came to the show and I hadn't seen him for like a year, a year and a half maybe. Last time my son was in Chicago when he was touring there and oh, we do keep in touch. I mean, and uh, he's been very busy as you can tell. He's been doing American Idol and he's like working on a new album, but it was really nice to reconnect with him and, and he was very, I was so nervous when he came to the show and, and he was so um, loving and complimentary and he really dug it and uh, and he, he bought the piano playing, which to me that was 
that was um, that was big. It's like some version of the robot. Did I just grip sound? It's that or were we talking like at a wedding or I mean I mean that's a different you know I like in in weddings and sort of social occasions I like to get lots of people involved so um, you know there's always like trains things like that um, the electric slide is very popular it's in my repertoire <laughs> other than that you know just a good old yeah a good old good old groove a little body roll a booty shake will will often do the trick. My favorite Stephen Sondheim musical is Into the Woods, um, at least at this point in my life. It has been for a long time though, since like high school or college. And, um, and I just saw the movie and I really enjoyed it. And I cried because it's about life and it gets me every time. Um, so yeah, that's, I have a soft spot for Merrily We Roll Along as well, but I think Into the Woods is, is the one I always come back to. One of my favorite movies ever is White Christmas. That's that's probably my favorite movie musical. But um, I mean, I I grew up on like Oklahoma, Meet Me St. Louis, and Music Man. That was my one of my favorites. Like all those sort of golden age era, 40s, 50s movie musicals. Um, I uh, that's that's kind of my jam. I love that stuff. So. But, but as far as I think it's hilarious, not hilarious, it's wonderful that movie musicals are coming back. Like I never thought I'd see that in my lifetime. But lo and behold, you know what I mean, here they are. And I think Into the Woods is a really good example. I think it was a really, really great film adaption of, of that story and the score. Maybe I'd say Puffer over Drood. I think I'd like to play Princess Puffer. She's real fun. She's real fun. And, uh, I mean, you can't beat Cheetah, but it would be it'd be fun to do it. I just I'd have to do something different. She's so tall. Oh my gosh, we met her and she's like, I was like, oh hi. I mean, she's she's younger than I am, and I was like, I feel like a. She was like a beautiful giant. She had very very tall legs, long legs. She was really cool. She was very down to earth, and she came with her family, like her parents and her brother, and and. Um, I just think she's, uh, you know, say what you want and whether you like her style of music or not, um, but she's a good songwriter and she understands form and structure and she knows how to write a hit, you know what I mean? And that's like, I have, I have great respect for that. So thank you for all your wonderful questions. I hope I, I hope I answered them in, in, um, in the detail to which you, you, were, you were looking for. Come check us out, we're at the Sondheim uh, six nights a week, eight times a week, and uh, we hope to see you there. Bye.